Hi, welcome back to Ox episode 4 of the YouTube series. Now, 6 months are there for the CAT exam approximately. 180 days. What should you do in these 180 days to make sure that you crack this most coveted exam and get into the IIMs? Let's straight away go into some of the structured presentation that I am going to make which will help you decide how you're going to spend the next 180 days. Okay? Here is a 6 months plan for CAT 2022. I would like you to look at this as a 60 70 and a 50 day plan. divide your 180 days into 60 70 and 50 what do you do in these three 60 days is for the cat so to say the concepts the knowledge you know if you want to crack an exam the first thing that you need to realize the first thing that you need to realize is that hey you need to have the basic knowledge once you have the knowledge you need the strategy and then you need the speed now whether you need speed along with knowledge whether the speed is going to be utilized along with strategy that's a different issue and that's independent of the requirement that is individual dependent what is however required is do you know how to go about cracking this exam the first one therefore is 60 days to cat 60 days from whatever time you start make sure that you finish your concepts and application and topic tests so that every time you do a concept or an uh, 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 area a uh, sub uh, uh, let's say a uh, um, topic that you do from arithmetic for example or geometry and insulation or dilr for that matter make sure that you also know the concept of it the formula behind it probably but more importantly how to apply that the second part of it of course is 70 days these 70 days are going to be the most important thing like jakde india sharukh khan says ye 70 din bahut important hai 70 minute important hai wo bolta hai now you need to understand that the next 70 days after your basic knowledge is intact is to make sure that you get your strategy right many students don't write the mocks at all they are afraid of writing mocks because you know um, you are afraid of knowing the truth as such it's okay to get a zero it's absolutely okay to get a zero but it's not okay to not write a mock and this is the most important thing as far as the preparation for any exam is concerned and decidedly true for a cat exam so the next 70 days are going to be used for the strategy mocks and sections i'm considering that you are starting your preparation right now and the last 50 days will be for a complete revision and a finalization of your strategy so if you can very simply compartmentalize your preparation in this three steps step 1 step 2 and step 3 of knowledge strategy and speed i am telling you getting into an iim abc lik or any of the other institutes including the excels and the fms of the world will become easy so what do you do in this let's before understanding what you do in this let's look at the challenge that we have a lot of people do not write cat or don't understand this exam because they don't even know what what is it that you need to aim for at the end of the day if you have a goal if you have a aim if you have the plan you will at least try to reach it and here is the point if you want a 99 percentile i'm not saying 99 percentile is good enough or not good enough just for information if somebody has 95 percentile will get into any of the iims all the all the iims i'm not saying any of the iims at least the uh, 20 iims that you're talking about 13 of them will give you a call a b c l i k in that sense they will also look at certain profiles let's not get into that for the moment it's more of how do you prepare for these cat exam 95 percentile is just 72 out of a 198 mark which means which means it is less than much less than 50% 40% approximately not even 40% 35% actually but it means anybody can crack cat do you even understand how important that sentence is anybody can crack cat anybody can get into an iim it may be in a ranchi or a rohtak or a raipur or a trichy for that matter ha huh. if you want to get into a gem for example a general engineer male you need a 99.6 percentile 99.6 is not also not difficult 107 108 marks out of 198 is nowhere close to the 90% and the 85% that you would get in your 10th and 12th many a time not understanding the cat exam not understanding the goal of the cat exam is what makes people very very intimidated by this exam 
And that is the reason why I'm saying, hey, there is a structure and the goal is very much achievable. Now let's look at what you need to do for each of these. As far as reading comprehension is concerned, straight away I'll say, you need to start reading. You have 180 days to go. 180 days to go. What does CAT give you in reading comprehension? Business and economy, science, biology, and physics. This is two 50% of your uh, exams over the last seven years, if I look at it, six, seven years, if you look at it, the RC passages have come from these two areas. And the other 50% is among the rest of them. So how do I divide my time? First, again, let's say 60 days. The first 60 days, what I would do is 10 days I'll spend on this, 10 days I'll spend on this, and one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six more areas. I'll spend, probably spend six, six days per uh, for each of these other areas. Six days for each of these other areas. Six, six, 36, 46, 56, that's 60 days. Four days will go somewhere else. What do I do in these 10 days? What will I do in these 10 days? Nothing big. Can I just read two passages per day? For 10 days, I will pick up a business and economy passage from a Times of India, from an economic times, from a live mint, from a uh, business standard, or any of the business newspapers or business portals. But make sure that you read a significant portion of it. Maybe uh, a 20, 30 minute reading on this area, 20, 30 minute reading on this area every day, 10 days you read. In fact, I would say probably, I mean, I'm using the word 10 days. It's just a, a rhetorical question. If you can do it every day for news, doing newspaper, nothing like it. But even if you feel that it's a burden for you, can you just do it for 10 days continuously reading two to three paragraph, uh, two to three passages in this area? That means to say in 10 days, you will do, do nothing but 20, 30 passages. 20, 30 passages of reading and trying to understand will give you much, much more insight into this. Then again, the next 70 days, again, divide the same thing in that sense. And the last 50 days. In other words, what I'm saying is, if you have 180 days, if you have 180 days, and if I consider this as 50% of this, 90 days, you will read these two things. 45 into two, 90 passages each. 90 passages each. And then for each of these things, it will not be that high, obviously, but maybe it's 40 passages each. So when you read 40 passages of psychology or 40 passages of philosophy or 40 passages of ecology, for that matter, there will not be a passage coming to you in a CAT exam where you will be completely at sea or all at sea. You will understand how, what is it that the author is trying to say to a large extent? And then the questions and answers, of course, are different. This part of it is reading comprehension, not just solving sectional tests. That I will come back to. Then the other thing that will happen as we go along is when you are doing this, you can improve two things, the vocabulary and reading speeds. Every time you read a passage, there will be words which you don't understand. Make a note of them. Make sure that you are understanding the next time around when you're reading the same thing. But if you do it on a regular basis, your reading speeds can go up to 250, 300 words per minute. And that's more than sufficient. Because what comes in verbal ability is once again, a lot of reading, whether it's a parajumble, odd parajumble or a para summary as far as cat is concerned. That makes it very, very easy. You know, let me tell you something very important. Getting into an IIM is not a big deal. Anybody can get in. The reason why people don't get in is not because it's a difficult thing. It's because you don't have the consistency to do that. And once again, I come back to saying the same point again and again and again. Consistent, committed preparation is what you need. Then let's look at what else is required as far as the quantitative ability is concerned. There are six areas, 180 days. Can I look at 60 days? Out of the 60 days, you will probably require five days for numbers. You will require something like eight days for geometry mensuration. You will require something like 15 days for algebra. And you probably require 20 days for arithmetic. 35, 45, 48. Another five to six days for modern mathematics and another eight days for this probably. Whatever that may be. This way, you are ensuring you are ensuring that in the first 60 days, you finish all these things. See, remember, there is the next 70 days that you are also doing your mocks. 
And in each of the mocks, you are going back and doing some kind of a revision, some kind of a going back to the similar questions and analysis. But the first 60 days are critical so that you get your basics, concepts, formulae right. For example, if you look at some of the class sheets that you need to do, if we give you 90 class sheets and each one of for one and a half hour, 135 hours of preparation you need. If you continue with revision, that's 270. Broadly giving you the time required, 45 of uh, sectional test will give you 40 minutes per sectional test, 40 minutes per sectional test, and 80 minutes for revision of the same sectional test. That is two hours per sectional test. That's 90 hours. We'll give you 30 mocks, 15 prime mocks and 15 countdown cats. Each of them, two hours of an exam and three hours of analysis, five hours, 30 of them into five, 150 hours and previous year's questions, PYQs of previous year's questions, if you can work on it. The maximum hours that I'm expecting from you to do is only 582 hours, including the first 60 and 70 days. I'm talking about the overall numbers. It's not a big deal if you really, really know what to do. And lastly, coming to either data interpretation or logical reasoning, please notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten areas. Similar ten areas in logical reasoning. Let's say we have again, I'm saying 180 days to go. 20 chapters. Can you do every day one of this, one of this? Do this on a regular basis. That is two sets a day, apart from everything else you do. In other words, you do 360 sets, which means 180 of here and 180 of here. 180, 180 of here. That means each one you will be doing something like 18 sets on an average, 18 sets of tables, 18 sets of pie charts, 18 sets of spider graphs, 18 sets of groups and distribution, grouping and distribution, 18 sets of set theory and Venn diagrams, 18 sets of games and tournaments. If you really can do that, really, honestly, you will get 99.99 percentile, not 99, not 95. That's the beauty of this paper. And even for DI, let's say I'm looking at 200 sets that I'm looking at, not even, don't look at that huge. But when you join, for example, Career Launcher, this is what we give you. We actually give you 500 odd sets totally. 100 and 500 sets out of which mocks itself are 150 sets. Sectionals are 70, 50. And if you add uh, cat originals, that's a huge number. And those of you take up a DILR thousand from us, that will kind of add more numbers to it. All that is required is a lot of consistency from your side. Again and again, I come back to the same mantra. And here is the last part of your preparation. June, July, August, September, October, November. Let's, if I look at it, I want you to understand that, hey, six months is more than sufficient for you to write it. You start off with June, arithmetic and algebra completely and redo all your practice of arithmetic and algebra in August probably. Because we need to do a lot of revision also. Similarly, DI, we can do the basics in the first two months or even three months for that matter. Same thing with your LR and for the first three months. The point is you don't have to finish everything tomorrow morning. The idea is, can you be consistently doing sets that we that are available in the uh, funda books, in the class sheets and in the mocks and sectional tests on a regular basis? And that's what I said about VARC, how you need to put in effort, keep doing, practicing, et cetera, on a regular basis. Last, the six month action plan will also improve your mocks. While I'm saying the 70 days for your strategy, that 70 days will start from August. Before that, you will need to still write your mocks. You still need to write your CDCs that will start in July. There will be some sectional tests you need to keep continued writing and even an original cat uh, paper that you need to keep writing. My simple idea is if, even if you don't get good scores, you get used to these scores, you know, understand what the paper is all about and then figure out what is the right strategy that you need to uh, get into. This one single uh, slide will tell you how to prepare over the next six months. Those of you have already started, no problems. Those of you are going to start, maybe let's say you see this video only in July, just 
fast forward yourself. Instead of 60 days, finish up basics and 50 days. Instead of 70 days strategy, make it in 60 days. And the last 50 days revision and final strategy, do it in 40 days. The idea here is you can definitely do it provided you are ready to work towards it. Cat, my friends, is not a big deal provided you get there. We at CL are always going to be helpful to you. We have our media channel. Make sure that you like it. Make sure that you share it. And of course, subscribe to it so that you can see and watch these videos more often. With that, signing off, Arcs here. See you in the next video soon. Thank you.